everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's episode, we're off to our neighbor's farm. It's springtime here in Iceland and you know that means it's lambing season. So we're gonna go check out all the cute new baby sheep. And I think as well, they might have some baby goats over there. So we're gonna go check it out now, come along. The modern Icelandic sheep is one of the purest sheep breeds in the world. And it is a direct descendant of the Northern European short-tailed sheep brought to the island by the early Viking settlers in the 9th and 10th century. They were bred for hundreds of years in this harsh, unforgiving environment. And as a result, Icelandic sheep are some of the most efficient sheep you will find. Very few attempts have been made to improve the Icelandic sheep through the centuries with outside crossings. The few attempts that were made resulted in disasters brought on by diseases, brought in by the quote unquote new blood. It is now illegal to import any sheep into Iceland. Any improvements to the breed are now done by selective breeding within the breed itself. Genetically, the Icelandic sheep is the same today as it was 1100 years ago. It is possibly the oldest and purest domestic sheep breed in the world today. The population of sheep in Iceland outnumbers the human population at a rate of about 3 to 1, at least before the annual slaughter anyway. Uh, more on that later in the video. Now, the Icelandic sheep is a seasonal breeder, with the ewes coming into heat from around early November until the end of April. Uh, multiple births are quite common, with twins, triplets, and even quadruplets occurring on occasion. Life expectancy is long, and healthy ewes can produce healthy offspring until they are around uh, 12 to 14 years old. This breed is famous for its wool around the world, but uh, here in Iceland it is bred almost exclusively for its meat. More than 80% of the income from them in Iceland is from meat, and they do not need to be fed any grain or given any kind of growth hormone in order to put on dense, healthy growth. Lambs are ready for the freezer as early as four months of age, and they usually weigh around 30 to 40 kilos by the time they are ready for slaughter. Icelandic lamb has a unique flavor with a fine grain and a delicate taste that is considered gourmet by many chefs. Even though the wool counts for just a small fraction of the income from the sheep here in Iceland, it is still highly sought after for being warm, lightweight, breathable, and also water repellent. The traditional woolen sweaters called Loppa Pesur can be seen all over the island and are exported worldwide. Icelandic sheep can be shorn twice a year. The wool from the spring shearing tends to be quite coarse, and this is generally used to make carpets. The best and therefore most valuable wool comes from the fall or autumn shearing, which is then used to make uh, garments. Now, our neighbors also have a few goats, which I didn't think too much of until I recently found out that there are only about a thousand of these goats in the entire country. Iceland's goat is a highly specialized breed, which like the Icelandic horse has remained pure since the time of settlement. It is believed to be of Norwegian origin and dates back to the settlement of Iceland over 1100 years ago. Unlike the horse, however, the country's goats have not thrived. Until recently, in fact, they were near extinction. Since this breed has been isolated for centuries and is very rare outside its native land, the Icelandic goat populations are highly inbred. And as it turns out, the Icelandic goat is the only farm animal sponsored by the the Icelandic government for the purpose of ensuring its survival. These sheep, not only do they become wool, but they can also become your dinner. So let's go have a look at this. 